revival everything. Nice acceleration from the hunter. I got a 10 stacker of Shaylin's gift. We should be okay. Nice job. Oh my god, do we we just two chests at 24 just in the morning on a freaking Wednesday? Are you kidding me? Good job, all. Good job. We hit 3k. We hit 3k. Oh my lord. Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is mystical tan bringing you a 24 fall two chest. This is my damage breakdown. Rising sun kick, spinning crane kick, and extinction blast are my top damage. My healing breakdown, a little slightly skewed because of the final boss but this is my vivify is not your top healing like it should never be it, normally it's shaylin's gift ancient teachings but yeah that's my healing that's my damage breakdown i tried playing a little chi wave here and that didn't like it. i like chi burst a lot more but this is my talents and there's nothing i changed from dungeon to dungeon we hit 3k which is exciting and that is it for me hope everyone's a fantastic day hope you do the video i'll see you later all right everybody this is a 24 fall it's pretty good pretty good i think we have a pretty good comp here too i feel like we're probably missing an evoker or something, but we're just gonna do our best. That's all. That's all we can do. All right. Lust. Okay. I don't have lust. I think that's a hunter thing. I got a new trinket, which I'm pretty happy about as well. Um. Spell here. I got the rare trinket off of Firak. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Um. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how much healing that does at the end of this dungeon because I don't. This is the first dungeon that I've done at a high level that I'm using on. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. And these guys don't really do too much. You just want to dispel the debuff on the tank. And it is bolstering week, so uh, things are going to hurt. It's Fort Tyrannical as well. Meldus. I'll use Shaylin's gift here, too. Throw an envelopment on the tank. Yeah. I mean, as I guess as long as my tank doesn't get absolutely one shot, uh, we should be okay. Oh. As long as we don't get one shot, we should be okay. <laughs> Bolstering for it is uh this guy's a big boy. This guy's a big boy. <clears throat> but uh yeah, I don't know if this is a hard dungeon or not this week. I feel like it's not. I feel like this is one of the easier dungeons on four weeks. Um the bosses are annoying, but on four weeks it's not that bad. Um I'm also using a new weak horror. Listen, I'm tryharding. All right, listen, I'm tryharding. There's a new weak horror I'm using that tracks that puts cooldowns on nameplates. That's right. I'm uh, doing my best to just be as good as I can. I know. I know. It's crazy. Spin here. It's going to absolutely just run as fast as I can. I have a 10 stacker here of Shaylin's Gift. But uh, yeah, these bosses, yeah, they're, they're not a joke on like four weeks, but. The mechanics are pretty straightforward, so uh, I'm going to try to not die to Mr. Bladestorm himself over here, or Time Rip. It's Bladestorm, come on now. We all know what it is. All right. I also don't want to stack, right, because he targets somebody, and I'm scared. So wait, Bladestorm's in five, right? That's what this week is telling me. Oh, oh, my Lord. Wait, so what's the cooldown? Where's the cooldown? I don't see a cooldown on the Time Rip. It's a little unfortunate. Okay. Oh, we're just here. Okay. I got this weak order too. Dude, listen, I got weak orders for days now. It's crazy. You want to move the pools away from the team. And that's one of the main mechanics is, I mean, see, I mean, this boss is already getting absolutely chunked down. And then leap right now. So he's going to choose two people to leap on top of. You want to avoid the projectiles. I don't know how much it hits for. And then you need to soak something. So I'll Tiger's Lust here and soak this. and That's the fight. Oh, oh, also as a healer, you need to uh, heal through a debuff that the tank puts, that the boss puts on the tank. So I'll show you. And then you need to dispel. So Chrono Shear, usually I just save Shadowlands Gift for it. Boom, dispel, done. I mean, uh, make sure you get your two set out so that the tank's taking 50% more healing from you. Throw a Shaylin's Gift out, and you're just, you can heal through it uh, pretty easily as a Mistweaver. Oh, it's also Vines week. I forget, I don't, I forget the name of it. Vines, I don't know, Grapple, I'm assuming. Uh, Diffuse Magic here. Dodge this, sleep on me, roll out. Don't get hit by it, soak this. Uh, one thing you could do is you actually, I, I forgot to do it there, but you could put your port down in the middle of that. And you can just pour it back after the, everything, after the projectiles. And you could just soak it yourself. Nothing too crazy. 
Shaylin's gift here. Dispel, boom. I mean, it's pretty pretty straightforward for this boss. All right, so I really, I need to mess around. I like weak horrors, but I like them more when I can mess around with them. So after this dungeon, I'm probably gonna mess around with this uh, nameplate one. Probably gonna mess around with little little wigs, I believe. Todd here, little, big big wig. I got little wigs for the dungeons because I don't really. I mean, I raid, but I don't, you know, heroic is. You know, you could pretty much outgear heroic now at this point. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, this trash is this is probably the hardest part of the dungeon right here. Is just clearing out all this trash, uh, especially on bolstering. Especially on bolstering. So, yeah, this isn't going to be fun. But if we get through it without dying a lot, I think we can time this. <laughs> uh, Chiji here. Feyline Stomp. Spin. Kick that. Spin. Sweep everything. Spin. 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 Fuse Magic here. Shaylin's Gift. Don't die. I know it's kind of up to me, but, you know, help me help you by pressing <laughs> any cooldown jab. Oh, wow. So these, these little guys give this guy bolstering. Oh, my Lord. The little fellas. The Chrono Burst is going to be annoying. Shadow's Gift here. The spell this. I'm just going to cocoon myself. There we go. Nice nether. All right. Good. Good. You know what? I don't mind using Life Cocoon on Trash because it's four weak. Or pull. Keep pulling. What? Oh, tanks over here. Oh my god. I couldn't find him for a second there. The damage here. But yeah, no, I'm I let me tell you something. I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying uh keystones this season. And I know a lot of people are saying a lot of people are doing keystones because they're easier dungeons. And guess what? They're hundred percent right. These maps, I mean these these dungeons are definitely easier than previous seasons, but I freaking love it. You know what I mean? I love, love, love let me heal you. That they're accessible for people like me you know i mean and and people like that enjoy pve or like you know pvpers i so many pvpers i've been um have been doing keystones and it's amazing and i love it i just love seeing people enjoy the game so and this has been a lot of fun i'm gonna cheat you here just because what the hell i mean i guess i could dispel oh wait is this a cooldown of bloom right there oh my wait this this weak or is insane okay Okay, so I could dispel this, and then I know in 15 seconds. So I could dispel again, right? I can use my second dispel now. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. And I hope that people are enjoying watching these videos. I enjoy um, PvEing and PvPing. I know one of the rare people that actually enjoys both. Um, and I've been PvPing since vanilla. So uh, we, you just want to kick the volley here. You're gonna. It's really hard to heal three if you don't. Um, to Chrono Burst. Okay, let me. Okay, Mr. Illidan. Okay, that's fine. I get Shaylin's gift here. Um, and I, I've always loved PVEing, um, but I just don't normally <laughs> record or stream as do it as much anymore. But um, let me tell you something. Ever since this patch, I've been PV, PVEing a lot. I I don't know why I ever left, or I I don't know why I ever stopped. I mean, <clears throat> it's just a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, this is probably, I, I definitely would say this is the hardest part of the dungeon, but we're doing a really good job of like, just, you know, doing our thing. Diffuse magic that, by the way, and dispel here. Don't die, Mr. Hunter. Please don't die. Be healing. Um, yeah, you could, it's magic, by the way. That debuff, the bloom, is magic. So you could diffuse magic it easily and then dispel, right? Um, the, it's the same concept for this next boss fight. Uh, the debuffs are um, magical. So if you get it on yourself, you can put it on somebody. Or you get on yourself, you can use Diffuse Magic to dispel yourself, and then you can dispel the second person. Because um, I don't think you have enough time to dispel both, unless you're like a priest, right? I don't think. I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't think you have enough time. I don't think the debuff lasts eight seconds. I think it's a five-second debuff. So, yeah, you don't have time to dispel both. But we do have Revival. We do have Revival. So that's pretty good. Um, we're drinking super quick here. I should probably just use this. Probably, yeah. That's probably a good thing to do. Maybe I should put a flask as well. Because, uh, okay. Or not. Uh, we're just going to cheat you here. So, yeah. This boss has, like, two mechanics. He has the balls. 
which uh, Fragments of Time is probably the better better way to call it. Uh, you want to stand in dark for that because it slows him down and makes it easier to dodge. And then he has the other ones. He has the debuffs. And the debuffs, you want to stand in light. Spell that. Revival here. Big healing. Yep, good. Nice. You really you need to keep track the hardest thing about this fight for healers in that I found. I mean I'm not gonna generalize of everybody, but is just finding it's like herding cats, I swear. Like I gotta find which Illidan is where, you know, and like some people, you know, go to the light different ways. So like this this fight is just mostly about just using your eyes. I use my soothing mist. Um I'm gonna fork her here. The spell, Shadeland's gift here. Yeah, I, I use my soothing mist <laughs> to find where people are. I know it sounds like funny or whatever, but it works. Like I quickly just tap my soothing mist, see if they're standing in light, and if they are, I, I do it. Oh, let's not get hit by balls. So if that if anyone's been having issues uh finding people. Yeah, this this one's gonna hurt. So we soothing mist, I know Harambe's there. Shaylin's gift here to recover, don't die. Nice nether. Beautiful nether. Thank you for using your buttons. I love you so much. Fragments of time. This is balls. And we shouldn't have to get the debuffs again. Sadly, I couldn't show you, but you could diffuse magic, one of the debuffs, um, to dispel yourself. And then you can dispel somebody else, so it's really easy. But here we go. Let's just kill it. Can I dispel this? All right, it just goes away. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. Um, we can try the skip here. I've actually never seen it done successfully in a pug. So, we skipping this. Yeah. Yeah, puppy. So, all right, never mind. We have uh, an insane warlock on our team. Who, if you, if you have a warlock friend, and you're watching this, or if you're watching this, you have a warlock friend, have your warlock friend put the gate here. Take the gateway. Boom. And you skip this dragon. And it's fort week, so that's we're saving about what 30, 20, 30, 40 seconds maybe. Uh by skipping this big boy. So send this to your luck friends and completely skip that trash. Alright, where's the hunter? Okay, I thought he was, he's lagging lagging loud. Left. Alright. Oh yeah, also with this trash right here, you actually don't need to pull the right side. You can Pull the left side. So, I don't know. I've seen two dragons in Lust. Okay, so I don't know what that means. I, uh, left. Okay, just pull. Just pull. Just pull. Uh, <laughs> just pull. Man. Do these little things give out? Oh, wait. What the hell's going on here? I haven't done this pull before. Okay. Yeah, I haven't I haven't done that yet. This, this is new for me. We're all learning something here, I guess. Yep, haven't. This this is new. This is new. Okay. Good darkness. Love that. Love that wall from Harambe. Love that. Don't stand in front of that. Health stone here as well. Cocoon this. Dampen harm. Or yeah, dampen harm. Get out of this. Fuse magic here. Shaylun's gift. I've 20 stacks of manatee, but I just can't press it. Instant Vivify. Todd. Dead. I'm coming. No, don't die. I'm coming. Maybe I should have just done more healing. I don't know. I feel like I was doing a lot, but I could be wrong. Maybe I maybe I wasn't doing that much healing. Yeah, I don't I, maybe I wasn't. I don't think I was. I could have done more. I could have done more. I think it, it was awkward because I didn't know we were pulling the down here. So at the start of the poll, I uh, I Feyline stomped at the top. Uh, yeah, that's my fault. We def we definitely could have could have lived that. I I think I think I think it could have been cleaner, for sure. Felt mist here, also blur. For some reason, I thought I had instant vivify there, and I don't know why I didn't. Uh, that sounds weird, but like I could have sworn I had I would have had an instant envelop. Or it's not not vivify enveloping mist. Healing, Minity here. Shadeland's gift here before. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, you know what? Maybe maybe this is the hardest part of the dungeon. I don't know. I don't like this part. I don't like healing this. I'm probably going to use a second health zone here. I don't know. Let's see. You could use Tiger's Lust to get out of the vines, by the way. Good. I'm just going to shave them to gift here. Boom. Good. All right. We got cookies down. This boss is just like... Just a lot of... A lot of stuff to dodge. So the first, the main mechanic is you want to give the tank the, the corrosion debuff, but at the right times, so like right before the blight, you want to give it to the tank. But in the second phase, it gets kind of annoying because you have tornadoes. I'm going to defuse magic this so I don't take as much damage. He targeted me with that, and it's I'm 99% I'm sure it's magical. So, But you know what you can do is if what a lot of teams have started doing is if you have a melee in your group, so we have a demon hunter, you just give it to the melee, and the melee passes it to the... To the tank. I mean, I'm I'm a fist weaver, right? So like, you know, I'm a threat of almost here. So I mean, I'm pretty much a melee. So just trade it. Basically, the corrosion debuff. If you get it, give it to the tank. All right, that's what you want. That's what you want. <laughs> Revival here, because why not? Uh, that was Nether and Blur from my Demon Hunter. Probably a little bit. Maybe he was standing in it in something. I don't know. Seems like a little bit of an overreaction, but that's okay. I mean, that's fine. As long as we live, it doesn't matter. Uh, the third phase starts at 50%. I hate this part of the boss more than the last phase. So as long as we get to this boss to 50%, I'll be happy. Yeah, just keep going. Perfect, perfect. I think he phases as soon as you get him to 50. So all right, let's use momentum here. Fantastic. All right. Throw an envelopment on the tank here, and then we're just going to crank damage. And, yeah, same concepts. I mean, you want to dodge the frontals from the bosses. This is also – it's easier to heal as well because there's two of them. Um, and as a Fist Weaver – oh, okay. Okay. Nice wall. I was going to say, as a Fist Weaver, they stack, so you can just cleave off of both, so it's a lot easier to heal. Like, right now, I can I can cheat you here, throw it a Blackout Kick, and just spin a win. You have to kill that. Okay. I feel like Hunters... Don't Hunters have a Freedom? Because Freedoms get you out of that. I guess I could tag us, but it's on cooldown. But I could have sworn there's a way for Hunters to get out of, like... Uh, Tigers lost this. Yeah, you could just free me yourself. Oh, we got a little double whammy there with the the vines and also the uh oh my bad, my bad. Yep, my fault, my fault. Drew, drew put that in oh. The corrosion was on me and then the tank passed it to me. So I think that is my fault. Yes, I will take you know what? My fault there. Hundred percent. Clean. All right, we got twenty percent trash to go. I we usually uh, this is a pretty good place. Oh, to have a rogue just because you could skip all this if you pull extra trash at the start, but uh, we didn't. So we did not do that. So we're just brute forcing this. I don't know if we're gonna use lust at all. Probably not. Probably saving that for the last boss. We probably won't even have it in time, right? I'm gonna try to stay away, right? Because. I don't want to stack for the dumb blade storm. Tiger sauce here. I'm just going to keep moving. Always keep moving. I, I If anyone knows a good way to avoid this, this rips time rip, uh, let me know. <laughs> let me know. Because <laughs> it's scary. I can't. I, there's no cooldown on, on the name frame for this week or so. And this guy has is literally jacked. My God, it's like Bajira come to life in WoW. <laughs> Doesn't this bolster the other ads if we kill it with the other ads? Yes, it does. I wonder why we did that. Maybe there's a reason. I don't know. Shadow Meld here. Shadow Meld is by far the best race for PvE. 100% hands down, no questions. Like, oh my god. There's so many uses for it in PvE. It's insane. Holy cow. I, I, like, in PvP, it's decent, right? Like, it's pretty good. You know, it helps me get strengths, get get drinks a lot easier. But 
oh my god in pve you could completely avoid mechanics to cast on you like all that it's insane all right we got three percent left so we're just gonna gg here belt miss here kick that belt missed here Dodge this. Don't die. I have a Shaylin's gift here. Perfect. Uh, usually I would Shadow Mode this, but I used Shadow Mode on the last one. I think this is one of the first time I've actually like fist like fist weaved on Fort for this. Oh, no. Four stacker here. I got you, brother. I got you. <laughs> Shaylin's gift still does insane amounts. I'm, I'm just going to staff this. Whack it. Boom. All right, we're going to dodge. I don't want to stack with everybody. I'll sacrifice myself. Okay. Harami's just a raid boss. I'm pretty sure Harami could stand in that, that blade storm and live to tell the tale. All right, he's active in 33 seconds. I wonder if we can two-chest this. What do we think? Do you think we can two-chest this? That'd be insane. All right. All right, the first thing, by the way, first thing you want to do on this boss is put this little gnome on focus, please. That's that's one thing I've learned. <laughs> like, when I first did this, I was so lost on I couldn't even click on her. Yeah, make sure you uh, you put her on focus. It's a lot easier. And then the number one, when you heal her, I'll show you, you always want to put your two set on her. Because that way she gets 50% more healing from you. Um, But yeah, this boss has, he's got a few mechanics. He's got a few mechanics. He's got some pretty big damage as well, so... Um, we have extension blast, which you just want to stand here. I'm just going to cheat you this. Okay. You take some damage and then you're going to get a massive debuff. So I'm going to dampen harm here. And then you want to soak this. Shalem's gift here as well. Belt mist. Chromie is going to take damage. So you want to heal her. So you, I put two set on her and then you get a healing buff. And then you could probably just fist weave the rest. Manatee here as well. Get out of this. Oh, I think that guy got hit by something. I'm just going to revival everything. Dodge this. Hellstone. And this boss phase is at 90% as well. I think this is the last tick of it. Manatee here. Nope, it's not. We keep going. Tigers lost this. Okay. Hopefully we get a B res on the nice on Illidan boy. Uh ads are gonna spawn. You don't want to stack. I'm gonna cheat you here. Sweep them. Do damage here. So we probably have to do that phase one more time because again the boss phases to the last phase at 90%. So Kind of hope the extinction blast is on me again, just because I have def I have fort brew and d d diffuse magic, so it'd be kind of nice. Okay, get out of the circle if it's not on you, please God. Again, Harami is a raid boss; he doesn't even take damage. Just kidding, you want a life cocoon? <laughs> you definitely, and you also want a fort brew. I'm gonna fort brew with great darkness as well here. Shalem's gift here, fantastic. All right. Put our fort two set on Karomi, and we're going to just heal her. And we're going to do a little two stack here. That should be fine for her. You can't have her die or uh, you wipe. And I also have Chigi. So Chigi here. Don't know why. I, didn't, I, I swear there's, there's something in my rotation I'm messing up, and I don't know what it is, but it's really bothering me. Because I swear I should have gotten... Oh, man, the Demon Hunter died again. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's me? It, it could very well be me. But I, I feel like... I don't know. It's not. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't know. I feel like... Uh, you just got to dodge. You know? Manatee here. Sweep the ads. 
and uh, just target the boss. Really hope we don't have to go through another extension blast. We have 16 seconds until we do it again. And I'm really, really hoping we get this boss down to 90% so that I don't have to. I have, I mean, I guess I have revival. Mana's tight, though. Mana's for sure tight. Ah, uh, here comes another extension blast. Phase it, maybe. Oh. That's fine. That's fine. Is it Harambe again? Nice, nice. We phased it. Yes. All right, this is a lot. And this is pretty much a boss kill now. So we just have to focus on living. Great darkness here. And I believe we just got to get the boss down to 85%. And we should be okay. Revival everything. Nice acceleration from the hunter. I got a 10 stacker of Shadow's Gift. We should be okay. Nice job. Oh my god. Do we, we just two chests at 24 just in the morning on a freaking Wednesday? Are you kidding me? Good job, all. Good job. We hit 3K. We hit 3K. Oh my lord.